Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is British Hellcat. I hope you're doing well. Or if you're new to the channel, hi, this is my channel. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different than the one I'm used to on my channel. I mean, it's sort of like a let's talk, but it's not a let's talk. It's basically talking about what to do with someone you want to meet off of tinder or just tinder in general because recent well i had tinder ages and ages ago and my friend convinced me to get tinder again and i'm just i'm just not a fan i just don't really like it so i don't really use it it's just sat on my phone and um I, I literally used it yesterday and i was just like why am i doing this but my friend uses tinder a lot so i just thought i'd sort of do this because i know a lot of people do use tinder and i just thought it's a good topic to discuss so let's get right on into the video so firstly and uh, these points are probably all givens like you people aren't stupid you know what you're doing but i just thought i would reiterate these points so if you are not a hundred percent sure that you want to meet this person whether it be a guy or a girl or whoever then don't meet them you owe them nothing You've been talking to them. Sure, you might like them and sure, you might think they're a nice person. If there's just some part of you that thinks, mm, do I really? I mean, I'm all for taking risks and stuff. I'm all for seize the day, carpe diem and all of that jazz. But when it comes to stuff like this, I'm always a bit sceptical about it because you do hear a lot of things. And I'm not saying live your life afraid of everything because that's not how you want to live. But when it comes to Tinder, there are easier ways to meet people there it's just if you're not 100 percent sure why would you bother number two sort of connected to that is basically the fact that if you have been talking to them and you think you like them and you feel comfortable meeting them no other reason should you meet them unless you are feeling comfortable if they pressure you they're not worth your time if they say oh come on it's just a meet and greet we can do it somewhere public do not listen to them if you do not feel comfortable do not bother meeting them okay seriously i cannot stress that enough you owe them nothing this is your life you don't know this person from adam it could be a 40 year old man in wichita for all you know it's probably not in wichita because it has like location accuracy all right 40 year old man in london whatever it's just not a good idea unless you're comfortable if you're comfortable go for it i mean it's your life go live it but unless you are comfortable do not even bother very very important make sure you give someone yours and his details like for example i know they're not details details but his instagram his snapchat if you've got his phone number give his phone number to someone i'm not saying just go spread it out because that's not right that's like invading his privacy but for example if you've got a best friend who knows about this tell someone and make sure they know where you're going what you're doing and if that changes you text that person and tell them it's changed i'm not saying do this for all your dates because that's not normal but when you're meeting someone you met on the internet for the first time make sure someone knows make sure someone's got details and it's quite funny my friend actually said to me if i go on the date with this guy tonight i'm and you don't hear from me by the end of the film because i go into cinema if you don't hear if you don't hear from me by the end of the film call the police i'm like I, this is the sort of thing it's like first of all why are you meeting him if you think i'm going to need to call the police but this is what you have to do you've got to think ahead i'm not saying think ahead and call the police i'm saying make sure you give someone every single detail you have on this guy or this girl and obviously they've probably got your details and just make sure they know what you're doing where you're going who you're meeting and stuff like that is very very important now a lot of people do this and a lot of people swear by it but i'm very confused if you've not even been to, if you've be, only been talking for 24 hours or you've not even been talking for 24 hours and this guy's already planning to go or girl is planning to meet you there's something weird there i think that's very strange sure you might like the person you click that's great you click wait a bit don't go see them. even if you think yes this is the love of my life this is my soulmate do not meet them after only speaking for 24 hours that is weird they should the why they are not cautious like even slightly cautious should be a like warning sign okay it's just so weird like 24 hours i obviously if you're living in a flat with people you kind of you do get to know them quite quickly in a flat for 24 hours but you're constantly with them you know them ish but then again i like after 24 hours i wouldn't trust my flatmates to take me anywhere really i mean 
it just doesn't make any sense to me why you cannot trust someone like really at all after 24 hours of knowing them so why would you trust meeting them just wait if you like them this much and you feel like you do want to meet them then you're not going to mind waiting a couple of days are you don't get too like brash about it and just meet like as i said if that like there was this guy who wanted to meet after i think it was three hours of talking to him i think it was like 10 o'clock in the morning started talking and then it was yeah one two in the afternoon that he decided oh yeah so i'm gonna book a hotel room because he lived nowhere near i'm gonna book a hotel room and we can stay over and i can stay over and depending on how you that you want this night to end so first of all he's already thinking that he's going to get laid and even if he's not going to get laid he wants to stay in a hotel room which first of all that's spending a quite a bit of money even if it's premier rent, it's still quite a bit of money he's traveling to a different city and he hasn't even been talking for you for half a day let alone 24 hours so i just find that strange weird back off this one's also a given make sure it is a public place okay do not meet him in your like you might think technically your flat is a public place because there are people inside but no, this is technically a private place. So if you're at uni and you think, oh yeah, he can come up to my flat. No. Okay, do not meet him for the first time you've had. First of all, he then, he or she then knows where you live. B, he or she knows how to get in where you live. Well, it's it would be a bit difficult if, for example, you did it at the courtyard because you need key cards and stuff. But still, it's weird. Meet in a public place, meet at Costa, meet at a shopping centre, meet at a cinema. All of these things are normal people places for dates and especially for meeting people. Heck, meet at a bus stop if you want to. I don't care where you meet as long as it's a public place, okay? Stay safe, guys, and it's very, very important that you don't meet them by yourself because the amount of crap... That you might feel comfortable. You might have been talking to this person for months and months and months and you feel comfortable with them and they're like the greatest thing to happen to you since sliced bread, okay? Do not meet them unless it's in a public place for the first time. I cannot reiterate this enough. Feel free to meet however many men and women you want to meet, okay? Don't let anybody tell you that you cannot meet a guy just, or a girl just because you went out with one of them. Let's say you went out on one of them on Friday and you wanted to meet them on a Monday, okay? Don't let anyone tell you you can't. I mean, you are not exclusive to anyone. If you're exclusive to someone and you're on Tinder, you've got problems, mate. That's cheating. Stop. But if you're not dating anyone, you're single and you're on Tinder, you're allowed to meet who you want. Unless you decide to fully commit yourself to someone and you've actually had that conversation with that human being, then you can see and do whatever you want, okay? Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, because I'm sick and tired of hearing people, and it's mainly guys, saying to women, you can't do that because you saw him last week, why are you with this other guy now? You're seeing like, you're talking to like five guys at once. I'm allowed to. First of all, my life douchebag, bugger off. Second of all, I'm not exclusive to anybody, so I can see however many as I want. And three, why is this your issue? Like, why are you bothered? Bogger off. And lastly, if they send you dick pics or start talking about sexual favours, sexual acts, your sex life or his sex life in general, run. Do not see them. Do not message them again. Unless, if all you want is a one night stand, then they're perfect, okay? they're absolutely perfect because all they obviously want is sex they don't care about your personality all they care about is what you look like and if you're up to the same freaky crap that they are okay if that only one is one night stand then go for it you do you love just you go but if you're actually looking for a relationship or just someone to hang out with someone to talk to these people are not going to hold a conversation with you unless it's about penises boobs vaginas or sexual positions okay or ways and places in which to do those sexual positions okay all they care about and they'll try and sext you and has anybody else noticed anybody else noticed that they're never actually any good at sexting they're actually not good at the thing that they claim to do constantly and you think think about it they're not just t talking to you about this sort of stuff. they're talking to plenty of other women and men about this stuff okay would you think with the practice they would have gotten better but no it's cringy it's unnecessary and it's not normal human contact like why in, I'm just saying 24 hours because that seems to be the staple here. Why in the first 24 hours of talking to a human being would you send a picture or start talking about... Or first of all, when they demand...
pictures from you. It's like, excuse me, just because you send one doesn't mean I'm going to send one. You sent me it without even asking me, so no, thank you very much. Basically, they're douchebags, you don't want to meet them, and if you do want to meet them for the one I signed, you do you, but if you actually want a decent conversation, or a human being to have a relationship with, or even just have a friendship with, these people are not going to make good friendships, conversations, or relationship partners, okay? Just don't, just stay away from them, just hide, run, don't wish again, block them, do whatever you want to do, just do not give them the time of day. That has been me, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to smash the thumbs up down below, it's greatly appreciated, and there should be a big red subscribe button down below. Please hit that subscribe button, come join my internet family, we're an absolute laugh, we talk about everything, we're nerds, all of that. My previous video should be on the next page, and don't forget to hit the bell next to the big red subscribe button so that'll notify you when I do upload. I upload every Tuesday and Friday. Comment down below any weird Tinder messages or situations that you've been in. Let's all have a laugh together and guys, remember, stay safe on the internet and stay safe on Tinder because it is a very scary place. These are people and yeah, as I said, just please stay safe. And as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in another video.